I'm Dr. Russell Kuhn at Evergreen Wellness in Ojai. Uh, today we'd like to talk about stress. Um, I don't know if you've heard about stress, it's very popular these days, any of you kids have it. So um, what we're going to talk about is how your body responds to stress. Now you have this uh, part of your nervous system, it's called the autonomic nervous system. So the autonomic nervous system. Now that sounds like a big scary word, but it's not really. Autonomic kind of means automatic. It's this thing that just happens automatically. You don't have to think about it. So um, let's think of a stressor. Okay, so who wants to go get water with me? You guys want to go down to the river with me to get some water, some buckets? So we're going to go India a couple hundred years ago. I think there were tigers there. And as we're going to the river, a tiger jumps out. Claws and fangs, and it looks very hungry, and it's running at you. So what are you going to do as the tiger runs after you? Are you going to lay down and play dead? That's not recommended. Are you going to run? Are you going to fight? Are you going to jump in the river? Are you going to climb a tree? What are you going to do? You're going to do something as the tiger runs after you. So we have two parts of our nervous system for the autonomic nervous system. We have the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. So um, the first thing that you do when the tiger is running after you, your autonomic nervous system kicks into gear to protect you, and you go into the fight or flight reflex. Now, fight or flight is the sympathetic side. So as the tiger is running after you, what happens to your heart rate? Does your heart rate go up or up? That's right, it goes up. Very good. And what about your blood pressure? When you're stressed out, what happens to your blood pressure? It goes up. Very good. What about your blood sugar? When you're stressed out, it goes up. Why does your blood sugar go up when you're stressed out? Because you need fuel for your muscles, so you can run from the tiger or you can fight the tiger. What about cortisol levels? Cortisol is a stress hormone, so cortisol goes up. What about uh, your immune system? The immune system, when you're stressed, goes down. So when you're stressed out, you can get sick more easily. So your immune system gets suppressed because it's more important to send blood to your muscles to run and fight than it is to stimulate your immune system, okay? So what about your ability uh, to learn, right? It goes down when you're fighting. So when the teacher yells at the student in class and stresses the kid out, bad student, right? What happens to the kid? The kid goes into the sympathetic tone and their blood pressure spikes and they get this inability to focus in the microscope. They're looking around at the trees and the rocks. They're looking for the tiger because the teacher's yelling at them. So, hey, teacher, leave that kid alone. Okay, so um, now we run away from the tiger. Those of us who survived the tiger, who didn't play dead, uh, only play dead with bears, I guess, not tigers. So um, if we survived the attack, then we get a hunting party together, and we go kill the tiger. Or we go get water in a different place. We don't continually get picked off day after day at the river with the tiger. So we, we, you know, we kill the tiger, and now what's going to happen? We're relaxing, we're eating our tiger sandwich, unless we're vegetarian. So what happens to our heart rate once we're relaxed? The heart rate goes down. What about the blood pressure? goes down. What about blood sugar? goes down. What about cortisol levels? goes down. What about our immune system? So when we're in parasympathetic tone, our immune system goes up. What about our ability to learn and reflect on what works on how to kill a tiger or we should use this spear or we should so when we're more relaxed, we can be in more of a learning state. Okay, so it's really important for you to learn things, to be able to calm down. If you're stressed out, forget about it. Um, oh, there's also, yeah, so that's good. So there is stress. Now, stress comes in three flavors. We have physical stress, we have chemical stress, and we have emotional stress. Now, no matter which kind of stress you have, your body responds the same way, okay? It, 
if you're in stress, whether it's physical, chemical, chemical would be like a toxin, or you ate something nasty, or you breathed in some chlorine around the pool or something like that. Emotional is being in bad relationships that are kind of keeping you down. That keeps you in this fight or flight thing, okay? And physical could be beaten up, your spine could be misaligned, you could get injured, you could have whiplash, you could have sitting and texting and playing video games and sitting at a computer all day. Those are all physically stressful things that put you into this sympathetic fight or flight kind of thing. Now, here's the deal. Is high blood pressure bad for you? Maybe. Now, if a tiger's chasing you, you better get some high blood pressure to get your butt out of there, right? So there's a time and a place. So, this is supposed to go back and forth. You show up at a medical doctor's office and you have high blood pressure, they give you a pill. Now they're giving you a pill because they're just looking at that. Some people just get stressed out going to the medical doctor's office. They have that white coat syndrome, right? So if you have physical, chemical, and emotional stresses and they just give you a pill, that's not addressing the underlying problem. And the, those pills have tons of side effects. So the idea is you run for the bus and your heart rate goes up and your blood sugar goes up for a moment, everything just goes up, and you catch the bus, and then you sit down on the bus, and then your heart rate calms down again. It's supposed to switch back and forth depending on internal and external stresses in your life. So high blood pressure can save your life, but it needs to then, once the stress has gone away, it needs to calm back down again, and that's healthy. That's reacting to your environment. You don't want to have constantly low blood pressure or constantly high blood pressure. We want to respond to our internal and external environments efficiently and for the right reason in the right moment. So, your autonomic nervous system needs to function, and if you're constantly under stress, you're in this fight or flight thing year in and year out, and then here come the drugs, and don't mind the side effects, which give you other problems. Or, we can address the underlying conditions, like going to a chiropractor, or any health that's involved in restoring motion to joints, um, taking pressure off of nerves, and then we have removing toxicity from your body, so detoxing is really important, and then of course emotional, um, being in supportive emotional relationships and, and stuff. So all of that speaks towards health, and we're going to talk more about that later. So thank you for watching. Have a good night.